Hi everyone. I'm Zha Hongxu from China Merchants Bank. I will give a brief introduction for myself. I have a, a 13 years software research and development experience across uh, telecom, automotive, financial industry. Recently, year I focus on collaborative open source knowledge and uh, take some uh, practice. Currently, I'm responsible for uh, Cloud native application platform in China Merchants Bank. I'm glad to have a chance to share our enterprise practice experience. Thanks. So let's start. Okay, today's topic is about the production practice for large scale financial application platform in China Merchants Bank. And this I will pair with Jian Bo Sun, a staff engineer, Alibaba Cloud. It's my, also is my friend. Mm, both of us are the Kuvela uh, maintainer. Today's agenda includes four parts. Uh, backgrounds, practice in CMB. CMB is a short name of my company. And the Vela, uh, Vela essential feature introduction. And then um, we'll show a demo about the feature. The first two parts I will charge. Uh, the part three and part four, uh, Jambo will take in charge. Okay, let me give a brief introduction about China Merchants Bank. China Merchants Bank is a commercial mass bank, ranking as 14th of the World Bank in last year's 2021. Uh, there are two merger um, mobile apps in App Store, a Mobile Bank and CMB Life. Both of our apps has large scale customer globally. Until end of June, uh, Mobile Bank app has already 178 million customer global. CMB Life has 132 million also. So, uh, China Managers Bank has developed a reputation for being a technology focused bank globally. We are on the way to cloud native. We really found a challenge in application domain. Um, in recent years, we uh, have already established a large scale private cloud in our organization. From the high level private cloud architecture diagram, we can notice um, there are uh, hypervisor virtual machine, uh, Kubernetes, uh, serverless, uh, Hadoop, and uh, some dedicated runtimes and huge infrastructure. And, uh, we provide diverse app workloads and the middleware service in corresponding domain, uh, corresponding runtime. The invitable um, uh, visibility applications couples with runtime and infrastructure is really complex and a challenge for us. DevOps cannot be agile and uh, cannot be high efficiency. So, both application engineer and plan for engineer have some some issue to be resolved. Uh, from application engineer side, uh, they want to decouple application from runtime or infrastructure, and also want application uh, support canary delivery to make the business stability and security, and want application observability for maintenance. And the plan for engineer side, how can we solve them by Cloud native ecosystem. At first, we think we should. Yeah. It's important, most important, to decouple application from runtime and infras. So we follow the open or application model in the OAM implementation Kuba Vela. We design our application model. We Divide it and conquer and abstract and encapsulate our application workloads use case. 
for the component definitions domain, we de de define each workload uh, work component definition. Each one mapping unique application use case. For example, front end for static site, web service for HTTP API server, VM service for virtual machine service, task for scheduled job, API gateway, MySQL, Flink, and more. Uh, this kind of workloads, the usage uh, is very obvious as the name. And uh, secondly, we, we define many components and traits definitions are part of OEM spec. They are application oriented concept. It's easy to understand and use. Application engineer will be happy, of course. Thankful engineer should provide each definition by Q template with Kubevilla. We can achieve um, concern separation by OEM and Kubevilla. Concern separation to decouple application from runtime. Since we can define our application model and then describe it, declare, declare it, so we can extend and def define many useful features in this way, the same way. Now we can define canary, canary uh, delivery as a treat. The left uh, is a, a example. There is a four components AP, a typology, a type AP, type F, a topology, and trace dependency. Um, in, in the in one sprint, front end and web service are related commits should be released end to end at the same time. They should integration and release end to end at once. Both front end and the web service components version one to version two. So the step two is the most important step for traffic control. Canary validates with a dynamic traffic step and the user can configure zero percent to 100 percent gradually to Canary instance showing in this diagram for validation. And uh, in this step, there are three points very important, three, three points. In this step, we need to choose, we need to choose first jump components as the entry to tag the traffic, traffic for control. Moreover, it is less necessary to reroute tagged traffic only to canary instance version two, especially both only front, front end and web service can be infected. Other components in these trace cannot be effect, uh, affected. Now we can validate both canary version two instance with tagged traffic end to end. In step three, is we have a two choice. If the canary Version as qualified. App canary become can become to baseline version two. Version one instance will be removed. If the canary version not qualified, one hundred percent traffic will come back to version one. Canary version two instance will be removed. Baseline no version change. We can in the right. In the right, there are two snapshot illustration. We can implement the feature with Kubevilla workflow engine and the canary root as treats definition plugin avoid then make traffic control. There, so the the the, the is a uh, uh, the the file YAML file to to dis describe uh, declare the work workflow and the canary root uh, treat illustration. Okay. Um, in the same way, we can also integrate app observability and SOS trait. As the diagram shows, there is a demo, demo app, the same demo app. 
they will generate log trace metric of the app so this observer observability data will be encoded as hotel and connected to time theory database trace database and column storage for analyze and the dashboard if we want to control connected instance and connection rules we can define metric traits applied to corresponding components components will be observed with open telemetry if we want to support sre for components we can define also uh, define also uh, define so Trace plugin to integrate OpenSO spec. We can configure service level objectives, SLI metric, a lot of policy. There are metric and SO trace simple in the in the in the in the in the, in the file, the snapshot. Okay. I just show some typical uh, pra uh, practice or example to prove. The Kuba Villa can be as the application uniform control plan in enterprise. We try to use Kuba Villa to build cloud native application platform to achieve it. Achieve it. And look at the diagram. The platform is add-on based architecture includes three main parts. A workload layer, tree layer, and uh, uh, OM engine. A workload workload layer includes all components definitions and uh, controllers. Tree layer includes all trace definition and uh, controllers. And Vila as the OM engine. So we can see all tag uh, tagged by add-on. We have the the yes, the especially in the in the treat layer, we have support uh, the app meta, app config, app release, app road, app root, app observe, app dependency, app calorie, and app elastic. And we can support more treats. Okay. With application uniform control plan, we can achieve concerns separation separation to reduce complexity with transparent runtime. Yes, that's runtime. So my part already uh, finished. So next, Jimbo will introduce Kubo Villa, important feature and progress and the demo then. Okay, thanks to Jia Hang. He has introduced the large scale practices in China Maturance Bank. And now, I will introduce some Kubella essentials. So I will give you a quick demo at the last. My name is Jianbo, come from Alibaba Cloud. And I'm the maintainer of Kubella. The most highlight of Kubella is the extensibility. The extensibility follows OM model. The end user just need to write the component type. It will reference to a component definition registries. And the registry follows the OAM model. The definition has a consistent API interface and it can be platform agnostic. It can be implemented by different projects. For example, uh, if we want to deploy a Helm chart, we can both use Argo CD or Flux CD uh, to implement it. And they are the capability providers and uh, uh, users can glue definitions and the projects into an artifact. The artifact in Kuvela world is called add-ons. We have built lots of out-of-box capabilities and we have stable Kuvela control plan and it's the core part of Kuvela and lots of add-ons including Flux CD, Argo CD and Vela UX. It's a UI console of Kuvela. Also we have 
uh, cross-plan Terraform integrations, open cluster management for multi-class deployment, and uh, open yard for IoT Edge, and uh, more than 50 add-ons. So we have uh, a lightweight installation uh, called Vela-D. You don't need to rely on any Kubernetes clusters for uh, control plan. Now I will give you a quick demo about how it works. You can find the scripts of all the demo in the link virtual machine. In my demo is Ubuntu installed. You will get Velady here, and we will install the Kubella control plan and bind the public IP for demo. Now it's installing. You can also install Kubella on any existing. Kubernetes clusters, you just need to install it with Helm. Here is a folder of my demo. Okay, it's started now. And actually, uh, the Vela-D leverages K3S as a Kubernetes cluster. So we will also have a Kubernetes config here. We can read it and you can also copy it in your local machine for convenience export the good config. We can also install some add-ons. For example, we want to see the UI console of Google of Vela UX and the Vela D provides the air gap installation. So it can install very fast. So we use the command here. So all the images have already installed locally. Okay, now we can visit it. It's this dashboard and uh, the initial password is here. and uh, let's use it change the password email okay now we have uh, the kubevela dashboard it have two languages supported this is one application installed the vela ux add-on is also one of kubevela applications we can see the components and the underlying resources, we also have the, the service endpoint. Let's see all Kuvela ecosystem capabilities are built as add-ons. Now we already have more than 50 add-ons here. The most interesting add-ons are the observability add-ons. Let's in, enable them. Uh, this is a Prometheus add-on. Okay, I have enabled it. We can check the status here and uh, it will uh, bring up Prometheus instance. Let's enable other add-ons such as node exporter. And let's also enable Kube state metrics ex export. And uh, we also enable the Grafana definition. It provides us the CRD operations on Grafana API. This is very important capability that we can uh, make uh, Grafana dashboard as code uh, in Kuvela. This add-on brings up Grafana server. Let's change it as new port and enable it. Okay, now we have several add-on enabled. Okay, it's already running. Let's check the Grafana dashboard here. Password is Kuvela. Here are four dashboards that have been added automatically. One is the Kuvela system metrics. It provides a very detailed Kuvela system state. So we can check the system health status and uh, it also provides what uh, component we have what trait we have and uh, other what workflow steps here okay and another important uh, dashboard i want to show you is uh, Kuvela application panel it gives application details and you can see uh, what components in one application and what what are the backend resources and you can also check the details of, and we also have some Kubernetes API server metrics 
Kubella has lots of component types. When you install some add-ons, it will also provide the component types. And I will show you the web service add-on web. As you can see, the web service add-on has several parameters. Uh, you can deploy it uh, here or use command line. Use command line. You can use Vela show web service to learn what are these arguments. You can also use Vela show web service. We can also see some examples of how to use it. Here are the parameters and the details. Uh, I'll show you how to build your own definitions to extend the capability of Kubevela. And now let's start to create a definition. And here is a Java definition. And we just want to deploy what they using Tomcat. So it's a very uh, basic uh, definition. We just run two objects. One is a, a Kubernetes deployment and another one is Kubernetes service. And we have defined some arguments. Let's deploy it. Vela dev apply. What wow, definition? Java wa. Wow. For just now, we don't have this component type. We don't have this one. So we can refresh the website. Then we can see the Java Wall component type here. And if we, if we look, uh, we can deploy some Wall. For example, we use uh, we use a simple bar here. Let's deploy it. Create and deploy it. Uh, you can also deploy the, this application YAML. Now it's creating. And you can see the logs. You can also see the instance status. You can also see the topology. Okay, it's running now. We can wait it. And uh, it has some suffix simple. Okay, we have succeed. Okay, we have succeeded in show you uh, how to define a definition. And then uh, let's, let's build an add-on. Uh, I will choose a click house add-on. And I was uh, just uh, uh, find a click house operator. So I will use the click house operator. The first time I saw the ClickHouse operator, I just got the installation step that is YAML here. Yes, they all install in one YAML. So if we want to uh, build an add-on, the easiest way is to copy the YAML bundle here and use the ref objects of Kubevela. Uh, we also add some trait to scraps the uh, Prometheus matrix. The, we also provide the dashboard. Yeah, the dashboard uh, I found is just an image. So we use web service to deploy the image and uh, provide the, some service count to give the capabilities to access the uh, Kubernetes resources. And we also, uh, uh, I also find it provides some Grafana dashboard. Uh, when a user deploy 
the ClickHouse operator, it's very hard to integrate the Grafana dashboard and the Prometheus. While Kuvela has a powerful capability to use them, we just need to copy the dashboard JSON here. Then we can install the, this add-on. We can install the add-on by Vela add-on enable this folder. This folder is ClickHouse add-on. Oh no, uh, sorry. Uh, let's enable it with service type node, node port so we can uh, check the ClickHouse. Okay, it's uh, installing. We also add one component type called ClickHouse so we can deploy apps with the ClickHouse capability. It's actually using the uh, ClickHouse installation CRD. Kuvela also provides the capability that you can define uh, what the resources uh, behind the ClickHouse CRD. Okay, we have already installed it. The, the dashboard is here. We can see the dashboard. It's provided uh, from the ClickHouse operator. And we also able to create a ClickHouse component with several parameters. Let's create one. ClickHouse instance. Choose ClickHouse bind to default environment. Install it and with new port. Okay, create it. Deploys. Kuvela has the power to check the underlying stateful set and ports. How could Kuvela do that? Uh, in the add-on, we can also define the resource topology here. We can define uh, the the topology is the ClickHouse installation has some child resources such as state for set service resources. Okay, uh, we have finished deploy the ClickHouse application and we can check it here. Oh, the ClickHouse has a suffix play. Okay, now we have deployed. It's more, we have Grafana dashboard of uh, ClickHouse. Let's go back to the Grafana dashboard. The magic power is here. We have automatically installed the ClickHouse operator dashboard. And the, the dashboard is provided by the uh, ClickHouse operator community. Uh, we just copied that and uh, automatically glue this dashboard here. Thanks everyone. We have just finished our demo. Because time is limited, we still have many powerful Kuvela features that didn't show you, such as the programmable workflow, multi-cluster application delivery and management. At last, I want to share the recent roadmap of Kuvela to you. Uh, we want to make our end users to have many more choices to use Kubevela, such as Kubernetes, custom resources, API, or command line, or UI console, and along with GitOps, with more powerful observability. Uh, we will enhance the Vela core to make it more extensible, easy to use, and uh, flexible. Again, we will enhance the security and uh, the stability. We also will enhance our add-on ecosystem with higher quality add-ons and uh, easy to build add-on toolkits to make your own add-ons more easy. And uh, we will also build some uh, interesting add-ons to make Kuvela ecosystem has more uh, powerful features and scenarios. We hope all of you can join the Kuvela community to experience the powerful features of Kuvela. 
Thanks, everyone. Hope to see you in the uh, Kuvela community call. Bye-bye.